Hello Transformation, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, you guys, I'm going to show you how I created this hairstyle. Very easy and let's get into it. Oh, look at this hair. Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right, guys. So I'm going to use my 64 millimeters rubber band, my bobby pins, and of course my neat braid gel. And my new edge controlled red one it smells like watermelon. It smells so good. And my leave in conditioner and comb and brush. And let's get into it. First, I'm going to spray down my hair with some leave in conditioner. I am using Nairobi leave in conditioner, um, the liquid kind, not the lotion, the liquid. And I'm just smoothing it out because I want my hair to have that moisture and look more lively. So I applied it in my hair and I'm just doing it on both sides especially around my edges as well and I'm going to brush the leave-in conditioner in so you guys can see you see how the shine and the moisture it looks so it don't look dry you know when I'm doing this hairstyle I want it to look as natural as possible of course so now I'm going to take my 64 millimeters rubber band actually i love this rubber band someone had recommended this to me and i said you know what i'm gonna give it a shot because i always was using the scrunchies and i love the rubber band my head does not hurt it stretches completely and i love it and i'm gonna use my neat braid gel i love this neat braid gel um true braider and my mommy well my mommy first and true braider turned me on to this gel because when I start doing my own braids I was using this gel and I love the neat braid gel it gives it a soft look it doesn't have whiteness it don't have, make your hair clumpy it makes your hair very smooth as you guys can see and they do also have their own edge control but you know I just went ahead and just got the gel and using the red one edge control so I have smoothed it out and I'm using the rubber band, my smaller rubber band, so I can be able to braid and plait my hair. So I just use the rubber band to section off the pieces in the front. So as you guys can see, I use the rubber band. Looks so cute. And now I'm going to take my rubber, not rubber band, my hair. I'm using Gala Braids braiding hair. And I'm going to go underneath each section with my hair. And then I just start adding the hair to my real hair. But I'm just going like in between the two braids. So I'm just going to go back and forth. And you guys see how easy it is to do the rubber band method if you're not like not hands on of like gripping your hair so I really do love the rubber band method it helps me out a lot and I'm just going to just braid like all the way down to a certain length it kept getting tangled I hate when braiding hair get tangles towards the bottom because I already reused this hair um, before so I'm just reusing again for the front. I want to do something a little different. So I'm just carefully braiding all the way down so you guys can see the braids, of course. So I'm braiding and I'm braiding and I'm braiding. So I'm making sure that I'm getting the tangles out. And I'm trying to make sure where my real hair has stopped because I was going to, because I'm going to cut it actually. So I'm just making sure that I'm braiding my real hair all the way down to a certain length. So I'm braiding, I'm continuing braiding. I'm going to braid to like probably a little bit more. So 
So as you guys can see, I cut the excess off. I'm going to cut off some more. So I'm using my neat gel braid to make sure that those ends are staying very neat and in place. So I'm braiding all the way down. I'm just so proud of myself because I finally did it. The braid in the front with a ponytail. It looks really cute. I love it. So now I'm just wrapping, wrapping the rubber band at the end of it to hold it in place. So I'm just making sure that it is tucked in there. And now I'm going to get my scissors. I'm going to cut right underneath that rubber band. making sure that the hair is even and I'm going to do the same thing on the same exact side just going to braid it all the way down of course I had a hard time on this side but I'm going to speed through this process So I finally then got to the end. So now I did my little rubber band and this is my little ponytail. So I just wrapping it around my own ponytail, the braided pony that I braid on my own. And I'm going to wrap it and I just put it over. So now I'm just making sure that it's staying in place as you guys see. Look. And I'm already pinned down my ponytail. And I'm going to take a piece and I'm just going to wrap around the base. So that's all you have to do, you guys. Just wrap around that base when you make your ponytail. So nobody won't even know that you even have on a ponytail. They'll just think that it's your hair. But I know our hair is not that long. Well, most of us. But this is like a safety hairstyle since it's still kind of warm out. And it's, again, a protective style. And this hair is hyperallergenic. So if you have sensitive scalp, I would highly recommend this brand, Gala Braids. I have done a review on it. You guys should go check it out. I am so glad that I found a braiding hair that is very comfortable with my skin and the length of this one is I think it's 26 inches the braiding hair pre-stretch so I'm just sticking the bobby pins in so this is how it looks like this but I changed my mind and I did this so I hope you guys did enjoy it was like a bun with two ponytails I mean two plaits so I hope you guys enjoyed. This was something very simple and easy. So if you guys want to do this look, tag me in your videos and I would like to see more. And these are the looks. I hope you guys did enjoy my content. I will see you guys in the next video.